Hi guys, what's up? It's your boy, one and only AI Legends. And yeah, guys, today I am back, and today I'm going to do another series, which is going to be what if Naruto was neglected by his family and became a Phoenix Sage. Well, guys, hope you guys will enjoy the series since I have not made any video for such a time, so. I decided to give you guys some more series or more parts in a single day and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But before starting this video, I would like to make a request to all of you guys who are watching this video. If you guys are new to this channel or if you guys have not subscribed yet, please guys do so. It will really help me a lot. And yeah guys, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram page name is ARLegends1234. If you just search it on Instagram, you should be able to find it. Well, I will try to put the link in the description below as well. So yeah guys, follow me on Instagram. And for the next part, the like goal is going to be, let's see, 300 likes and 180 comments. Do that and I shall upload the next part as quick as possible. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let us enjoy the video. So, I'm going to start my video. Hmm, well, this look interesting as two pair of eyes but looking towards a scene of a perfect family. Well, not a pair of eyes, you can say a small kid of 6 years old was looking towards his own family while he will put the own family quite not seriously if you ask him. Well, this kid was none other than Uzumaki Naruto as he was looking towards a scene of his so-called perfect family as his father, the Yellow Flash or otherwise known as the 4th Hokage of the village Minato Namakaze as well as his mother. Kushina, Uzumaki, both of them were training his twin brother and sister Menma and Naruko how to walk up to the trees as the figure as Naruto was simply looking towards them with cold and emotionless eyes when if someone were to ask him only a month ago if he was jealous for his family he would have screamed at the top of his lungs that how his family did not care for him and all that but now it all has finally changed as Naruto's flashback it all begins years ago when the Nine Tails attacked the village. Well, even though Naruto may consider it for some time a blessing that he was not put into the ritual of the whole thing, as this time only Menma and Ruko became the Jinchuriki because both Minato, Kushina, and Jiraiya and Tsunade were present. They were able to make a seal, a powerful seal, and they were able to seal off the Nine Tails chakra into both Menma and Ruko and a bit of chakra into Kushina so she could survive as well. And Naruto was not part of it because Naruto had blonde hairs, while on the other hand, his so called sister. Naruko had red hair and Menma had red and blonde mix together as both of them had, you can say, inherited the Uzumaki genes. Therefore, they were considered the perfect Jinchuriki, though he would never consider them a perfect Jinchuriki because they do not even know the meaning of that word, but that is beside the point. And things started to get pretty bad quickly, even though at one point in life, Naruto considered being normal a blessing, but then again, it became the other word of the meaning. Being normal means nothing special, as he was not considered anything normal, but he was considered nothing special to begin with. It all started when he started to get grow up, as Naruto noticed that his parents always were doting over both Menma and Naruko. Whenever he tries to, you can say, ask his parents something, they literally ignores him in the favor of his loudmouth sister as well as his so-called, you can say, brother who always gave him a smirk of triumph even though in the early age, Naruto did not understand it at all. But it started to all click to him that how his parents were favoring his siblings over him. Which at the beginning Naruto thought was some type of competition or anything like it. So he decided to ask his parents about more and more things and try to spend more and more time with his parents. But he quickly realized his mistake and both Kushina and Minato quickly became annoyed with him and thus became the harsh treatment of Naruto. Flashback for Naruto. As 4 years old Naruto was you can say eating along with his family even though he could see that Minato was talking with Naruko and Kushina was dotting over Menma about different things and then Naruto thought about something as he remembered that one of the family going into a barbecue restaurant as he really wanted to go there as well and perfect opportunity presented itself as he said as his father speaker well kids Today we have decided to go outside on a small outing, why don't you tell us where we should go actually go as Naruto finally decided to speak up after all he does not want his siblings to once again scream 
out Ichiraku ramen even though he loves the ramen just like any other uzumaki but still he does not like to eat ramen all the time after all his mother always cook ramen at the home as now to speak up hey dad i saw a family going into a barbecue restaurant of the akamichis it was pretty great he was telling me can we go there as Minato was about to say something but then men must speak up but I want to go to Ichiraku ramen as Naruko said yeah ramen is the best I do not want to eat barbecue and all that as Naruto speak up but we w went there last time don't you remember that as men as Minato speak up all right Naruto that is enough as your sibling said Ichiraku ramen will actually be and now Naruto was really getting frustrated at that it was always the same thing the Ichiraku ramen and all that even though he loves the ramen but he really want to try something else as well after all his mother at the daily basis you can say cook ramen and all that as Naruto speak up as he said but we went there the last time and even before that I, I just want to go into the barbecue you always we always go to the Ichiraku ramen dad as Minato as Kushina became pretty annoyed with it. Naruto as I said Naruto that is, that is enough if you don't want to go then you back go back to your room you're not allowed to come down you're grounded and now get out of my sight as Naruto was pretty shocked about it he wanted to scream and all that but a one look from Minato told him to shut his mouth as Naruto simply looked down and went off as he could hear sneakers behind him as his siblings were getting ready to you can say eat all the things as Naruto became pretty angry at that but he simply ignored it flashback ends but then it started to get even more worse and all of it finally got broken down when the training of the siblings became as flashback for Naruto as Naruto was simply looking towards his parents who had just announced that they are going to start the training of their heirs as all of them were happy but Naruto had a gut feeling that something bad was going to come as Naruto said so when do we begin that as Minato suddenly looked towards Naruto with a surprised look on his face but then realization came to his eyes as he had a you can say for a moment Naruto thought that he saw a expression of pity on the face of both Minato and Kushina though Kushina was even less as Minato said um, well Naruto um as i why don't you come with me as naruto had a bad feeling about it while on the other hand both Manma and naruko were already sneaking behind him as if they already knew what was to come as naruto gulped a little and started to follow minato as minato finally arrived to his studies as he said <clears throat> well naruto we have decided to um teach you um yeah on the basics yeah first we will decide about the basics here here here's the book as this was the book of you can say academy which Minato got to review about the academy and all type of things after all it was the duty of the Hokage and it was just on a fluke Minato looked towards the book and thought that he could you can say simply get rid of Naruto by putting him on the basics and all that as Naruto simply looked towards the big book with a you can say a bit of surprise on his look on his face wondering what his father is trying to do as Naruto looked towards the book with a surprised look on his face as he said um uh, what should I do about it that as uh, Minato said well Naruto we have decided that first we will um, begin the training of Menma and Ruko and as he saw that a sad look on Naruto's face as he said well you see that both Menma and Ruko has the power of the nine tails inside of them so it is really important for them to control it at a young age as Naruto simply looked towards Minato but they how can they control the power of one of the most powerful bijus in the world in such a young age as Minato was taken aback from that question even though Naruto does not show it he was quite genius at some points after all it was pretty true both Menma and Naruko are only four and a half years old they, can, they cannot even control a shred of the power of the biju but Minato simply shook his head as he said well Naruto we have already decided it since their body is young you should be, they should be able to adopt to the power of the biju even though Naruto was clearly skeptical after all a biju of the power of the nine tails would easily even the smallest amount of the chakra would crush the body of both Menma and Rogo in, some, in such a young age which means that their parents were simply trying to get rid of him so they could teach them basics and all that and they will always put him on a you can say a small break and all that saying that they will train him next time and next time even though Naruto was a bit hopeful but still 
as he said so um well will i begin my training as minato said um well narto don't worry about it in around 2 years we will start your training as well all right as narto simply nodded at that as minato shuffled his hair all right here's a book try to study it it will help you in the academy and all that as narto simply nodded at that as minato went off leaving narto in the you can say his study a library as narto simply sighed at that as his training or rather his self training begins and all that and thus became the training of naruto as naruto started to train on himself it was not that hard for him after all he was often in the study of his father even though minato did not care much about it after all how much you can say is close does he need to train small kids he was already training manma and naruko about chakra control and things like that so they could have great chakra control as well as some techniques such as shadow clone and things like that while on the other hand naruto quickly decided to get some knowledge before anything else after all if he does not understand a thing then how is going to actually train and become a strong shinobi unknown to most of the people as naruto wants to become a strong shinobi just like his father even though his father is lately is ignoring him even more and more after the training begins he started to get even more and more distant from his family before he could even you can say sit with his family in dinners but now he started to get even more less and less after all they were mostly busy in their training and they do not have much food and kushina even started to forget of making his you can say food and all that as naruto was really getting at this point pretty desperate but the only thing that could put his mind at ease was only the training and a dream to become strong a strong shinobi in the world who knows one of the strongest there is as naruto decided to study and one of the most useful jutsu he was you can say able to stole i mean borrow from his parents and the only thing he would be grateful for a really really long time was when his father was teaching both manma and naruko to perform a clone jutsu and none of them were able to do so so his father teach them the shadow clone jutsu even though they were not able to make much because of their lack of chakra control and but naruto was able to get a grasp of it unknown to minato the book which he gave to naruto was a actually a book which was given to him so he could approve the new slavers of the academy but the civilian council members overruled it so minato did not care about it as that book had several of the chakra control and many other things written on it several information about mostly chusu such as the summoning chusu and things like that not the contract but the data and some theory behind it and things like that but since it was overruled so minato did not care about the book as well he simply gave it to naruto as naruto was literally intrigued about by the book and all that he quickly figured out that it was just a revised version and it was not to be used in the academy after it was rejected the idea was rejected by the civilian council members as well as the elder council because they wanted the civilians to give a chance as well and minato also nodded with that so it was literally dropped out as minato as naruto got pretty interested in one thing and one thing only that was the space time ninjutsu one of the most powerful ninjutsu to ever exist that was the summoning jutsu as naruto was literally intrigued by it his chakra control was getting better and better day by day and his shadow clone were already studying several books at the same time while on the other hand naruto was trying to improve his chakra control and things like that he was intrigued by the history of the shinobi world so many abilities so many powers as well as several other things but the most thing which interested him was the summoning thing and there were several things written about the summoning as naruto finally decided to research about it and he already knew about some things about the summoning and one thing even more intrigued him even further flashback to naruto's birthday as once again a birthday was come naruto was now by no means hated in the village or anything like it but still he was literally ignored and several people sometimes even forget that the hokage had another son if it was not because naruto looked like minato they would have completely forget about him but it was you can say a plus point to naruto anyways so he was pretty intrigued and that was the day his so called god parents decided to give their summoning contracts to both manma and naruko as naruto was pretty sad and hurt by it but not that much after all 
he had read about you can say about Jiraiya and Tsunade it seemed that a bit of research will also be required as not to once again sneak into the library of his father even though the scrolls of the Chutsus of high ranking was literally sealed away thanks to some high ranking seals but normal books were still there as Naruto decided to read about it the legendary signings of three contracts they had about the toad contract the snake contract as well as the slug contract pretty powerful as Naruto decided to read even more it was a book written by the ancient people as Minato liked to study a lot even though it is mostly fiction about the summoning contracts that how it it is between the dimensions itself and one of the most complicated and no one in the whole history has created a summoning contract. It is said that the summoning contracts were made by the Sage of Six Path itself. Thanks to the abilities of the Rinnegan, he was able to walk past through the dimensions itself and was able to make contracts with these bees as Naruto was at awe. After all, he did read about the history of the Sage of Six Path, so Naruto was really really impressed by it. As Naruto started to read it even more about some ancient texts that how two legendary summoning contracts were to be, you can say, were there in the ancient times, those were none other than the Dragon Contract as well as the Phoenix Contract. These were considered to be most powerful of the contracts that there were. But in time, it was literally forgotten and all that. It was only theory and all that. So Naruto decided to put it at the back of his head for time being, that is. Though he was pretty interested in the dragon as well as the phoenix contract, wondering if he would ever be able to obtain such thing. But unfortunately, the book said that how it is only the theories and the people words that how in ancient time they have seen it. After all, not even in the first great ninja war, the very first war which was, you can say, fought in a worldwide scale, did not have any text about the phoenix or the dragon contact, contract whatsoever. So Naruto thought it was some, people thought that how it was some, you can say, theories and myths, nothing more than that. But Naruto had some other idea about it and all that. Flashback ends. And at this point, Naruto was literally looking towards his family as a sad smile came to his face, but he simply shook it off. He has other things to deal with. Now, there was no time for being jealous and anything like it. Even though he could clearly see that his family was getting far and far from him, he was getting more and more detached by the day passed, and his family seemed not to notice it. He always waited there. Always, he was there looking towards them, wondering if they will ever remember him. That's how he was also there. A part of their family but to no avail but he simply shook his head and decided to do the training once again. As Naruto decided to train at the night time as well as he started to walk through the village and even came to a separate section of the village it was he simply raised an eyebrow at that it was pretty strange this whole section of the village was recently you can say separated from the village around one or two years ago but Naruto simply shook his head it was the Uchiha compound as Naruto raised an eyebrow at that it was pretty close to the forest area where he actually trains so he decided to have a small walk at the place from going on from here he should be able to enter into the village as he simply shrugged and finally entered within the village or within the Uchiha compound as people were still there he could see them but most of them were already heading towards some general direction but Naruto simply ignored them he has other things to deal with as some of the Uchiha's were simply looking towards him with a strange look on their faces as well as in their eyes as if they hated him for some reason but Naruto simply shook his head they will not try anything even with all the all of his family and all of his troubles he was still the son of the Hokage and no villager will dare to do anything to him even though he does not know much about these Uchiha's and all that to be honest he did not care as well so he was still passing by all of them as all of them most of them were simply looking towards him as Naruto finally came near to the gate of the Uchiha compound as he was about to enter into the main part of the village but then suddenly he was grabbed roughly by the hair as he was you can say thrown into a alleyway which surprises Naruto he was still able to you can say jump into the air and land it gracefully as a chuckle could be heard as he said hmm so you're the son of the Hokage huh well, that damn Hokage has put us at the back of this village as if we are not the founders of this village. 
We are the founders, remember that, you stupid brat. And your father had the audacity to put us, separate us from our own village, huh? As Naruto simply looked towards, as you can say, a chunin, as well as one or two ganin with him. As Naruto raised an eyebrow towards him, to be honest, he does not know, did not knew that how there were some issues going on with the Uchiyas as well as his family, or rather the Hokage. As he said, what are, you, what are you talking about? I do not know anything about it. As Uchiha simply scoffed at that, huh? As if you do not know about it, you stupid brat. Well, it does not matter. I wonder how the Hokage will react if he knew that some of the missing means has literally beaten his son down. To be honest, it would be a great revenge. Wouldn't you agree, guys? As they simply nodded at that, as Naruto was now slightly fearful. Though he had good chakra control and a shadow clone technique, but other than that, he had nothing to do. And these people have the shotting gun and all that. He did read about the shotting gun and things like that. And now, Naruto was getting a bit scared as the Uchiha simply looked towards him with anger in their eyes as they said, Alright, brat. Just stay still, we will beat you down and after that you will forget anything. After all, our shotting gun can easily ignotize you and make you forget about it. It will be fun. As they started to, you can say smirk at that. And now, Naruto was getting a bit desperate as he simply came into a small sloppy Taichuzo stand which he saw his father trying to teach, you can say, Menma and Naruko. As Uchiha smirked, huh, so your dad finally taught you something, huh? Well, it does not matter. As he rushed towards Naruto, as it was a Gany, a new Gany, as he was ready to punch Naruto, and in pure luck, as Naruto was able to dodge it, after all, the Uchiha was underestimating him. As Naruto, you can say, leap behind and kick the Uchiha on the face, sending him flying a bit back, as Naruto was a bit surprised, though he unconsciously added a bit of chakra to his foot, after all, it was just like the water walking and the tree walking exercise he was performing lately, so it was on instinct, he added a bit of chakra into it, as the Uchiha had a, you can say, small bruised face and a small Tickle of blood coming from his face as he glared towards Naruto with his shotting gun as the Uchiha said, Alright brat, I was going easy on you, but it will not matter anymore. You will pay for it, as he said, first style. Great, as he was already going through hand sign and now Naruto was getting desperate. He has seen the great fireball Jutsu that will kill him if the attack were to hit him. Even if it is used by Ganon, it is still dangerous. As North was already going through, you can say phases, trying to think of anything. The Shadow Clone Jutsu will not work. He was already going through, you can say, a lot of training. And he has used some of the Shadow Clones there. So his chakra reserves were already low. Even if he were to push it, he will not be able to create much. And there was a tune in there. As he was trying to think of something, anything. But then suddenly, his eyes shot open. He could try that Jutsu, but... He does not know what will actually happen from that as after all he has seen it only once when Jiraiya was teaching both Menma and Naruko after they signed their toad and slug contract respectively and how to perform the Chutsu after going through some hand sign as they were practicing. So Naruto also noticed that since he did not have any summoning contract so he simply cannot perform it but there was also a possibility if something were to happen as Naruto was already going through hand signs and all that but he was already too late as Uchiha released his fireball towards it as Chunin eyes widened he was he was about to stop the Ganon to use that Chuzu after all it was not their plan to kill the son of the Hokage they just wanted to paint out their anger at something and who's better than the son of the Hokage and if they were to really you can say erase his memory, then the Hokage would never find out that they were the one who beat their, his son. And that was a great plan and all that, but it was not in their plan to kill him as he was about to stop him, but it was already too late as the fire was coming towards it. As Naruto's eyes widened at that, he was already, he had already completed hand sign and unconsciously he was already, you can say, with a small amount of blood already was going through hand sign and he was already putting a bit of chakra unconsciously into the blood as the fire as well as Naruto's hand collided with each other as there was a gigantic boom as across the area as Ganon eyes widened at that he was just angry that that little brat hit him he was an Uchiha he was an elite he 
will not accept it and that was the main reason he attacked but now he was back to his senses as his eyes widened even Chunin's eyes widened at that as he started to go through hand sign as a small gust of wind quickly you can say cleared the area as his heart almost dropped to the side there was no body there which means that the fire had disintegrated the body of the son of the Hokage they were as good as dead. As he looked towards the Ganon, who was already trembling at that, as he said, I, 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 did, I did not want it to, as the Uchiha was now getting pretty desperate himself. As he looked towards the other Uchiha's and into their eyes, using his Sharingan, erasing the memory itself, and quickly ran off from the area, knowing that soon enough, some other Uchiha's or some Ambus might try to get here. And they will be in trouble, a lot of trouble. And now let us get back to our favorite hero as Naruto was groaning a little his hand was you can say burnt badly he could feel that but something was strange the atmosphere does not fit correctly as his eyes you can say shot open barely as he was already looking around he was in some type of forest as he looked around this was definitely not the forest of Hainokuni or around Konoha or anything like it. It was pretty strange actually. The forest was or rather the trees were of different color and some of them were on fire as Naruto simply looked around the players all around the players wondering what is even going on here what was he even doing here and then suddenly a voice came to his you can say ears a shriek a voice which almost you can say made him deaf as he quickly covered his ear but his arm was still burnt badly as he looked upward to see as his eyes widened to the greatest degree it could actually be it was a, a bird he has never seen before a gigantic bird which would put even his own house and that was saying something even the Hokage monument to shame as it was a bird compi comprised of blue flames all around him as Naruto's eyes shot open as he looked towards him in utter horror and fear and it was the first time he has you can say experienced such fear in his life never in his life he has you can say experienced this kind of fear or anything like it as Naruto stood up trying his best to move back as possible but he met with the large trees these trees were really really large even the you can say largest tree in Konoha was short in comparison to these and really broad one as Naruto simply looked towards the bird which was in the sky as if you can say burning the sky itself but then suddenly another shriek a voice met with his ears and then a gust of wind pushing him back as Naruto was literally scared as but his mind was already working on it this figure was you can say similar to the small photo which he saw in that book of the summoning contract but he was already way too scared to focus on those thoughts as the figure finally landed in front of Naruto his eyes pouring into the small figure of Naruto as Naruto was trembling in utter fear in front of the such gigantic beast or rather a bird as Naruto simply looked towards it but then he was pretty surprised when the voice speak up who are you human as Naruto was taken aback from it, he almost thought that this bird was going to kill him right then and there and e eat him up. As Naruto uttered, um, uh, uh, Naruto, Uzu Uzumaki Naruto, as the bird simply looked towards him for some time, as I said, hmm, interesting. It has been millennia since any human was able to enter into our domain. Well, Uzumaki Naruto, it seems that you are a bit interesting, though, must, uh, though I must ask. How did you end it up here? As Naruto was taken aback from it, he was not expecting such type of questions but then again, his mind, after subsiding a bit of fear that was still there, started to think how did he even get here to begin with. But then he remembered the Uchiha's who were trying to attack him and he tried to use the summoning Jutsu as his mind was already working on it. As they simply looked towards him. Um, uh, I do not know. I just I just try to use summoning Jutsu when those people were trying to attack me with fire ninjutsu. As Bird simply looked towards Naruto for some time, already coming up with some type of ideas. As I said, hmm, interesting, huh? So you were able to reverse summon yourself, huh? Without even the contract. Well, this is really interesting. 
well you have to meet our boss if you ever want to obtain our summoning contract as Naruto was taken aback from it but then again his mind started to get things together as he simply looked towards the gigantic bird as he said um so you guys you you are summons just like the legend states the dragon summons as well as the phoenix as the bird simply looked towards Naruto for some time as a chuckle as he said well you can say that we are summons of the legends though I must say that the humans of the millennials started to get pretty greedy so we decided to cut off our contract after the last summoner of our died and after that no one was deemed worthy enough for the for being a holder of our contract so we never gave it to anyone and those who arrived here such by other means were not able to pass our test so we literally killed them as Naruto was taken aback from it as he gulped a little as he said alright little brat my name is Ryu and I am one of the fighter phoenix here you have to meet our boss summon and he shall decide what will happen to you in the future as Naruto gulped a little and nodded at that knowing that he simply cannot refuse the gigantic beast in front of him knowing that this bird could actually kill him with a single swing of his wings as Naruto simply nodded at that and has decided to follow up the Ryu as they finally arrived into a cage into a cave as Naruto finally was at awe as there were several small phoenix as well as larger ones as they were looking towards Naruto with pretty interest and surprise at that some of the older ones were murmuring among themselves and they finally arrived to the area as among you can say a gigantic nest a small figure or rather a large even bigger than the Ryu itself was sitting as he simply looked towards Ryu for some time as he said hmm well Ryu it seems that it, it is bit it is a bit interesting who is this human child and how did he arrive here as Ryu started to explain the situation as he said well my lord it seems that this kid is a bit interesting he claims that he tried to summon something and he met with a gigantic fireball I think that something were to happen back there since he did not have any summoning contract he was to reverse summon and I think that because of the close proximity of the fire he was able to draw to the summons which were more powerful in the fire ninjutsu as there were several murmurs going on there as the boss summon looked towards Naruto as he narrowed his eyes hmm, you kid human child come here as Naruto gulped a little and started to walk towards him as he looked towards him for some time hmm interesting I don't think that that is all the case I don't think that if he came here only because of the fire approximately no it is something else as he simply looked towards the kid as he said hmm so do tell me who you are human child as Naruto gulp once again as I said um well my name is Uzumaki Naruto as the phoenix said hmm Uzumaki Naruto I believe I have heard that name before the Uzumaki huh hmm well he simply looked towards Naruto for some time as he said so do tell me child what do you want to do in the life I suppose you want our summoning contract don't you as Naruto gulped a little as I said well I do I was actually hoping to one day get a mythical summoning contract my other my godparent gave my sibling the contract of the toads as well as the slugs as there were several scoff could be heard across the whole area as the bird narrowed his eyes as he said hmm, those amphibians are nothing compared to us we are the mightiest summoning contract there is as Naruto simply nodded at that as he said yeah as the bird simply looked towards Naruto hmm you said that your godparents gave your sibling the contract so why you were not given the contract as Naruto simply looked down at that as he murmured something but the birds did not hear speak openly child as Naruto simply looked towards him as he said um I do not know they I don't think that they like me very much they always you can say give more attention to my sibling just like my parents as the birds were taken aback from me and as the boss summon simply looked towards Naruto as he said hmm, come close child as Naruto once again came forward and the bird looked directly into the eyes of Naruto as Naruto felt as if something was invading his very mind his very soul was being judged as 
After some moment, the bird started to blink rapidly as he said, hmm, interesting, huh? Kubina Kutsun, huh? It has been quite some time I have heard that name as Naruto was taken aback from it. As he said, so it seems that your siblings are the Jinchuriki of the Biju known as QB, huh? Well, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, Hagoromo gave him the name Kurama as there were several murmurs going on as Naruto was at this point was literally lost what these guys were actually talking about. But the bird simply looked towards Naruto, the phoenix looked towards Naruto as he said, hmm, well child, even though I will admit that your life is not that great, but I will also say that you also have potential. Well, that is comparable to humans, of course. We phoenix are different than the other summons. We do not give our contract that easily. So do tell me, child, why should we give you the power and why we should give you our power or any power? As Naruto simply looked towards him for some time, he was about to, you can say something or try to think something, but this statement does not seem right as why sh he should give him power to begin with. As Naruto simply looked towards him as he said, hey, I do not want power. As the birds once again looked towards each other as Ryu started to chuckle. As Naruto simply looked towards him, power cannot be given, power is earned. I do not want power from anyone. I will gain it on myself, by myself, on my own. As there were several silence in the whole room, but then a chuckle could be heard from the boss summer as he said, hmm, well, Uzumaki Naruto, pretty good philosophy you actually have. Huh, well, it seems that you are able to pass our initial test. Well, that is actually a good thing. But you are way too young to be handed such a powerful summoning contract. Even if you were to sign our contract, you should not be able to summon any of our more powerful beasts. So, what do you, what should we do with you, huh? Hmm, well. How about some training, Uzumaki Naruto? You may be strong as a human, but compared to our own power, you are next to nothing. We are mythical beings, known as mythical beings for a reason. Our power drops off all the other summons, the snake, the lion, even the lion summons are nothing, even though they got extinct years ago. Huh. Only our match is known as the dragon summons and we have a pact with them so we do not fight among each other. As Naruto was at all, there was a dragon summons as well though right now he's going to have a phoenix summoning contract so it should be great. And to be honest he was really impressed with the phoenix contract to begin with. As Naruto simply looked towards the boss summon as he said, um, can I train here then? As the boss summon simply nodded at that. With our training, you should be able to get strong enough and as quick as possible. It should be good for your career as a shinobi, I presume you want to be. And it's about time that the world once again knows the might of the phoenix. And it's about time they thought that we were just myths and nothing more than that. From your memories, that book, huh? huh. Pretty interesting. We actually were there in the time of the Sage of Six Parts and I have also met that guy as well when he came here for us to make a pact with the humans. Huh. It was a good match actually when he summoned his son Kurama to fight us. Well, it was a great battle but I presume nowadays he's known as QB, right? As Naruto was at awe, the Sage of Six Parts was also real just like the Phoenix as well as the Dragon Contract and their myth as well as Naruto was really impressed by this all. As the boss summon looked towards Naruto as he said, hmm, well, we have given you a test, you are able to pass it but our real test is yet to be but you are way too young to take it. So I will offer you some training by our kings. And if you are able to get strong enough in time, let's just say at the age of 13, we will take your real test and if you are to able to pass it, then our summoning contract will be yours, human. As Naruto was at awe, he got the summoning contract out of nothing. As he simply nodded at that, he was hoping for some training at the boss chuckle as he said, hmm, Ryu. As the initial bird came forward as he said, well, my lord, as I said, you will be in charge of the training of this little one. Make sure that he's strong enough. Judge him if you may. You are his tutor from here on. As he simply nodded at that, but then suddenly something clicked in Naruto's mind. Hey, I'm not going to stay here, right? I still have to return back. My parents will doubt something. As the bird simply looked towards Naruto, as I said, don't worry about it, human. We will have a small pack for the moment. Put your hand forward. 
as Naruto did so, knowing that he's not going to question this large, gigantic, mythical bird to begin with, as he simply nodded at that and then you can say a small feather landed on it and then started to burn on Naruto's end as Naruto whistled a little as suddenly a small, you can say, a shape appeared, a small tattoo appeared on the hand of Naruto, on the shape of, you can say, a phoenix. As is that, well, this is our temporary contract with you. You will be able to summon, you will be able to summon small phoenix here. As well as, we will be able to reverse summon you here. And if you want to get training, you can also reverse summon yourself here as well. But be warned, you will not be able to summon the more powerful phoenix like ourselves or Ryu or any other warrior phoenix. As Naruto simply nodded at that. As I said, very well human, you may leave as Naruto. But before Naruto could say anything, he was flashed away into a burst of flames as he appeared at the same direction where he previously was. As Naruto gulped, he has to get out of here as quick as possible as he rushed back towards his home. And for the first time in a long time, he had a huge smile on his face, a genuine smile. And it's about time the shinobi world waits because the legend of Uzumaki Naruto has already begun. And thus, the training of Uzumaki Naruto has finally begun. As Naruto finally arrived to the home, and once again he saw the happy faces of his family eating ramen at the dinner table. But this time, Naruto did not care. He was way too happy to get his mood be ruined by his so called family. So he simply ignored them and went towards the stairs where his room actually was located and went inside of it. As we had to look back towards the door, he thought that someone was there. Huh, must. He must be thinking, after all, the home was secure, no outsider could actually enter into the home without his permission, so yeah, that was it. As he went back towards his children, his family was just perfect. As he closes his eyes, and now let us cut back to Naruto, as he started to read even more further things about the shinobi world, as after all, he wants to become strong, as he was already coming up with some theories how he actually got teleported or reverse summoned to the world of the phoenix itself. And now let us have a time skip. It was finally time for the children to finally go to the academy. And once again Naruto was forgotten by his so called family. After all his mother went off with Manma and Nuruko so that she could get them admission into the academy. His father was once again busy into his Hokage work as Naruto saw as he looked towards his family leaving by the window, as Naruto simply shook his head, it seems that he has to do all of these things on his own, as he started to walk once again and get some papers here and there and finally arrived to the academy as he saw that how Kushina was coming out of the academy and all that with a smile on her face and then suddenly she noticed him for some time she looked towards him but then she started to blink as he said um uh, Naruto what are you doing here you should be in the academy it seems that you're getting late huh now get hurry young boy as Naruto simply literally ignored her as if she was trying to put some blame on him as Naruto literally ignored her and went inside of the academy as Naruto, as Kushina looked towards him for some time but she simply shook her head she has other things to worry about after all Naruto is a good boy and all that so yeah but she can't help but think that she is, you can say, spending less and less time with Naruto. But she simply shook her head. It is for the good of Konoha. After all, both Merma and Ruko are the Jinchurikis. They have to spend a lot of time with both Merma and Ruko. Otherwise, they might lose the control of the 90s chakra. So, that was the main reason. They were spending a lot of time with Merma and Ruko. Yeah, that was the reason. As she thought that and went off to do her own thing, you know. Now, let us turn back to Naruto. As he simply sighed. He looked towards all the Yukisa sparring matches that were going on by the academy teachers. As Naruto looked towards him, only one person was decent enough. That was Sasuke Uchiha. He was trained by his, you can say, brother, Itachi Uchiha. But to be honest, he was not that impressive. After all, Naruto has been training with Phoenix for quite some time as well as his own training. And he had a great chakra control. So. He was, you can say, pretty stronger than all of them. As Naruto Sai, it seemed that it is going to be a lot of six long six years. But then again, he could have done some research done about the chakra itself. After all, Naruto was recently trying to write a book about the theory as well as the origin of chakra itself. And it seemed that he has a lot of knowledge by the hands of the elders 
of the Phoenix Clan as well as some of the older members of the Phoenix Clan and especially the boss summon who seems to be pretty old itself and Ryu is going to be the next boss summon in the near future when Naruto will reach at the age of 13 it seems that Ryu will take over instead of the current boss summon who will become one of the elders so yeah it would be good for Naruto but it seems that Ryu was no you can say push over he always beat Naruto to the ground and all that his speed was literally amazing and his training method was brutal at best. As Naruto sighed, it seemed that it is going to be a long 6 years but at least he will be able to write his own book. After all, he does have a lot of knowledge in the form of other elders and things like that. As Naruto simply smirked at that, after all, it is going to be the first day he is going to write the book about Chakra itself. The very origin and the you can say the mysteries of the power the life force itself known as chakra so yeah and he got you can say one of the good friends none other than shikamaru after all naruto decided to literally skip the whole academy and have a good nap here and at the night time he could easily train after all his family does not seem to care and they always left men my naruko a lot of scrolls in the training ground so naruto could always pick them up and have some you can say increase in his own knowledge about the whole things so yeah it is a good point for naruto himself so he literally did not care